Good day! Today I'm at Southern Yurt. I'm staying at the yurt behind me and I'm just gonna show you around, so let's go! Today I'm checking into Forestview Yurt. You'll arrive at a large field where you can park your car and to the right as soon as you come in there's this small bridge that takes you down to a massive tree that has its own swing. There are also a couple of benches and a fire pit. Back at the main field where you park, let's take a quick look at the second of three fire pit areas. This one to the left of the car overlooks the sunrise, it has two chairs and another fire pit. It is called the Forest View Yurt because it has incredible views of this field and forest behind it. Look at all those trees growing too. Let's head on to the main area where we have a hot tub to the left, the yurt, our kitchen lounge and finally a bathroom. The hot tub is wood fired and you'll need to get the fire going early as it hits the water at only 5 degrees per hour. I'd recommend you start the fire as soon as you check in to make sure that it's ready for sunset. Fire lighters, debris and wood are all provided. In the morning you can see the dew drops evaporating in the first rays of sunlight and at night the fairy lights make for the most beautiful setting. Next to the hot tub there are two comfortable chairs and a small coffee table. Perfect for that first cup of coffee in the morning or if you're just like me, a glass of water while you organize your plans for the day. Right behind it, there's a beautiful wooden arch with some purple flowers which make it really special. The yurt has two windows, one on each side, both made of canvas. You can roll them up and down from the outside. The door to this massive yurt is so stunning and when we head inside you will see just how much space there actually is. You can stand anywhere in the room without hitting your head, that's a big plus. All around the room there are fairy lights, how beautiful do they make the room look? In the center of the room, facing the door, there's a king-size bed with great pillows. I prefer firm pillows and it is often a struggle finding them, so when a hotel or cabin has one of each, it is the best type of surprise. At the bottom of the bed, there's a wooden chest where you can store your belongings and cute dry flowers and the towels on top. They also provided hot water bottles, but even visiting in winter, we didn't use them as the duvets and blankets were very warm. Next to the door to the left, there are two cozy bathrobes that you can use for the shower or hot tub. In front of the window, we find my favorite part of this yurt, a chessboard and comfy puffs. Chess is one of my favorite games and I especially love to play in a cozy cabin setting. Having the board already set up for us was great. There's also a full length mirror and a chair with hot tub towels. On the other side of the bed, I love the painting. It is of the farm where the southern yurts are located and tells you where you are and how to get to the different trails on the property. A really nice touch. On top of the drawers, there's a welcome book with all the information on the farm and instructions on how to use everything. Something I really liked is the drawer full of board games. It is the small little details that keep the guests entertained, which are the best. Between the yurt and the kitchen area, there's a little area with a braai and a table. You can see it here from the back. Now, let's go check out our living area and kitchen. Outside on this cozy little porch, there's a couch with views of the forest. And to continue with the magical theme, there are also fairy lights all around. At night, it makes the darkness incredibly appealing, as you'll be able to see here. The kitchen has a lounge area with a comfortable couch and dining area. It has a fireplace and most of the walls facing the forest are made of glass, giving you great 180 degree views. The kitchen is fully stocked. It had everything you could need in terms of crockery and cutlery, and I don't say that often. They provide salt, pepper, coffee, sugar and tea, and also some delicious olive oil that's produced on the farm, so you can try it. There's a double stove burner, an oven, kettle and a toaster, and these beautiful little tiles that make the kitchen stand out from the dark shelves. All cleaning supplies were eco-friendly with wooden brushes and towel racks. I was very happy to see how the eco-consciousness was spreading in the industry. 
There's a table for two with views of the forest and also a 20 meg Wi-Fi connection, which works great both from the yard and the kitchen and is fast enough to easily have video calls and even upload YouTube videos. Digital nomads, I am looking at you. From the door next to the fireplace, we head out to the most original bathroom that I've seen. It is designed as a curve with a sink as soon as you enter, followed by the toilet and topped off with a shower. The farm has a lake for swimming or canoeing and many different walks varying in length. They're only studying the veggie garden but you can see how big it is already. Southern Yurts has a further two campsites that can be booked separately or together from two to six packs. If you book together, the fence there at the back will be open. Both sides have smaller yurts, you cannot stand inside these ones, with the same style of kitchen and bathroom. For bigger groups, the campsite is a great place to spend some time with family and friends. It's right underneath the mountains, so you'll have great views of these instead of views of the forest, like at Forest View Yard. And on one side, the smaller camp, there's a hot tub as well. Although there is no Wi-Fi connection here, which sometimes is for the best. I hope you've enjoyed the year tour. As always, please make sure to like it and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. And I will be back in a couple weeks with another unique accommodation tour. Bye!